like it's like a dream come true for me la i thank you oh my god that's such a big you, uh, you compliment you know, i have to be thankful to you like i have to be really thankful it's okay it's okay i you you're most welcome you're most welcome my dear and uh, i'm so sorry it took so long because you know ngai ani this whole let's get real has been uh, at its stall yasi because traveling and all that aluda chika ani bindigi ani bindigi at its stuck then digi it took so long la i'm so sorry but i'm glad that i'm we are finally meeting yes i am like um like i am time mirura like you have got time for me and like i'm so of course, of course i have time for everyone so <laughs> just that i have to plan <laughs> Hey, you're welcome. You're welcome, my dear. So, should we start? Yes, I am like you. Thank you. Thank you for wanting to share your story on Let's Get Real. Just be yourself. Be at ease. Uh, I am. Once upon a time, I was a young girl just like you, and I'm pretty sure I must have gone through what you must be going through right now. So, if I feel that uh, I can, I have some good advices. Maybe I'll pass it on to you. If yeah. not, the viewers will. Yes, super. So, can can you please uh, say something about yourself? Uh, so right now, like, let me share me share my location, lah. Huh? I'm here at my mother's workplace, mm -hmm. and like, my name is Tuji Dolker, and I'm still a student studying, and like, I came from a loving and a strict family, I would say, lah. And my interests are like to read, write, and like, I even likes to play table tennis. Chess and taekwondo is lah. Okay, okay. Class come chimo. Like now I'm in ninth grade lah. Ninth grade, so you're still so young, no? Yes, but but I am like, uh, I've gone through many things lah, like, Jim, due to like my own life or like my family's or some kind okay. of issues. Yeah. Like. Okay. 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 So, uh, siblings, kadim chui. Like I've got my brother la. I've got one brother la. One brother, younger brother, older brother. Older brother, ma'am. Yeah, okay. And parents are together. Yes, ma'am. My parents are together, and like I'm, I'm lucky because my parents are together. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Of course, that makes a huge difference, huh? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. They uh, are you in a boarding school or you day scholar, Kadavino? Yeah, this year I thought like I'm going to be in border because like I have to like more for give my like my more intention to studies and like I'm a interested student who are like more like focused on studies so like I'm going to be boarding student. Good, good. I wish I went to boarding school when I was in class nine. Yeah, but it is quite tough, man. Being a boarding student, like we can't even like meet with our parents, homesickness, and many more. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, I need to definitely remember. But then you know, there are some kids uh, who go to bo boarding school at the age of six. My husband went to boarding school at the age of six, and he still is like atiti anibiyonsi. Like he still gets like, why was I sent to boarding school at the age of six? I was still like kid zero. But you know, parents ki they. <laughs> They did their best yes. for the child more. Okay, yes. so um, uh, how how is school school life like? Uh, yeah, like you know, with your studies and friends and kadabi. Um, like school life, it is uh, amazing life la memolation for us like for a student like us, it is an amazing thing la. In school, like it is a school is a place where we meet different kind of peoples, where we like even meet with permanent, temporary, and many things, and like we go through a lot of challenges due to our own studies. Even though if we are like more interested in studies and like if we are like uh studying hard we can do it so student life is the best life i should i would say yeah absolutely absolutely what's your ambition what do you want to be when you grow up uh i've got two ambitions i like my first option and second backup push option mm -hmm. and first thing i want to become as a lawyer 
because I want to give justice to everyone equally and like especially women because we women suffer like I've seen my mother suffering and like even other women so I want to give justice and the second option is I want to become a teacher oh okay very both very noble professions huh Nagidi, when I was when I was small, I wanted to be the first lady pilot of uh, Bhutan City. <laughs> yes, I'm like you are still a uh, like inspiration to us. You know, like uh, like you always be kind to everyone, and you teach us how to be kind. And like yes, I we really like you. Thank you, thank you so much for all the love and support. I don't know, see, these days, I'm just love the support. I'm like, I'm like, is it even real? It, it would be real, real Asian, because like, who will ever hate someone like you, more Asian? Like, you're so good and like, yes, Asian, I just... Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, now, uh, you, you said like you have your issues and you've struggled and all that. No, you want to talk about it? Asian. Let's go right back from the beginning. Yes, Asian. but I'm not going to create a scene or I'm not going to take long. No, on don't, the don't name names, if, if at all, no name yes. naming more. But uh, you can share your story, your point of view. Like I was 15. I was like 15 when I was like suffering from my mental illness, Mola. And like it was um like i was small and i didn't even know that i am suffering through mental sickness mm -hmm. since being a boarding student at that moment like i couldn't even know that i'm suffering it what i felt was i was just feeling heavy tired and i wanted to be alone and yeah and some my school monitor i would say uh, she noticed me and like she came talking to me like doctor are you fine do you need some help or something and like nothing i can't even talk you know as like my tears burst out and like i just want i just told her that Ajim, i need a help Ajim, i need a help i will i like i need to i need to take rest or something then she referred me to Maton and like Maton asked me if I wanted to go to hospital for the counselor session or something so I, I said yes okay I want to visit a hospital and I guess it's uh, April 21st when I was found uh, with uh, anxiety and like it's been uh, my counselor told me that I uh, I have been suffering from um, for a month and I didn't even know that it was a mental sickness even though like I was happy because it was not late enough to visit hospital at that moment la. and like i went to hospital and my counselor like i didn't directly ref or got referred to a counselor but then my prescription was sent to the basic regular checkups in a chamber and i met a doctor and the doctor told me like uh, Bumchu, what happened to you? Are you fine? And what what happened to you? Like, I was like screaming, you know, as I'm like, uh, I am not sick. I'm not sick. This is not my place. I want to talk. I need someone who, who can like understand me, you know, as I'm, so I screamed to him and like he thought that counselor would be the better person. And he referred me to the clinical counselor and like I went to the counselor and counselor like he uh that moment my counselor was a man um with a kind heart i would say he thought that i would be scared so he was talking so politely you know as in like uh Pumchu, what happened uh are you crying your face are dull what happened like did something uh hurt you or did someone hurt you he was questioning to me and me itself here standing uh uh, standing here even not knowing who am I and what was the purpose or the reason getting sick you know uh, good to go through like I mean like to suffer from the mental sickness even though like I was okay quoting myself like who am I who am I and why I am like this I have got my friends around my parents are supporting me and I have a loving loving friends family and many more and i was like questioning to myself why i'm sick and what happened to me and 
I didn't know. So counselor called my mother and like uh, he called my mother and told your daughter is suffering from this and this. Like mama tears, mama starts to tear up, you know, like she never thought like I would even be like this. And like because she thought that she used to tell me before when I, was, I wasn't sick. Like since a small girl, I have a nature, uh, like nature. I've got a independent nature where I used to do things which I like by myself. Mm -hmm. I like going out myself. I like enjoying myself, and like I've got that independent nature, you know, Jim. So yeah, Jim, and I got admitted to a hospital, and like. I never knew this was this would be the cause. I like I would be ever be sick. I would be like in the hospital with the medications and like glucose here and many more. So like, uh, okay, I I have to be here. Um, uh, okay, this might be my fate or something. I just thought that when as uh, said by a greatest person, you know, Jim, like when fortune tennis, every part get gets closed and like I thought it is closed now I can't do anything I I should give up I must give up like I can't stand back you know that was the only thing I thought and I couldn't even think further you know I have a family to look after I have to study to complete I have a career I have goals dreams and aspirations many more but then like it was very tough at that moment I yes how are you now uh, I won't say that like I'm fully recovered Asian because like my counselor itself didn't guarantee me that like I'm recovered now I'm fully recovered because like I am recovering Asian but I would say that I am recovering yeah are you still on medication at all no Asian like I stopped eating medicine because like uh, at the end uh, it would definitely harm myself so I stopped it and like I stopped it I started being happy. <laughs> it's okay. Isn't it? Okay, so any medication they got into Thank you. Medication they got into Zai, Chogi. Hello, Zai. I've been admitted at the hospital at that moment for a week, I think, like, and I think I took medicine for uh, like one month. You know, you know, firstly, mom, firstly, I want to say you are so brave yes. to be this young and to come out in the open and talk about your struggles. You know, that is a big win for you. Thank you, Ajin. And also another thing is like when I was 14, 15, I had no idea about mental issues, anxiety. Maybe I had, maybe I didn't have. I don't know more. In our day and age, like if I went to my mother and say, like, you know, I think I'm suffering from this, <laughs> there's this funny quote also, no? Yes. You know, yes. you're so lucky that you have so much help around you. Like, I feel lucky. Yeah, you're so lucky that you, you have your mother, your, your parents, you have health professionals, your counsellors to help and guide you. But you know, uh, other people can only help you so much. I feel out of my experience now, other people can only help you maybe, you know, 40% of the journey. 60% you have to take yourself. You know, you have to... Uh, I don't like that word, but you have to go inwards, you know, you have to, you're too young, but if you start right now, no, I think uh, you should be able to avoid all these issues that will definitely crop, crop up as you grow up, as you meet someone, uh, if you ever face heartbreak or once you start a family you know you will definitely come up if you don't go deep within and clean up the core you know the main issue why why are you having it do you know why do you know why you're getting all anxiety you know you have a reason that you would like to share if you if you're not comfortable it's okay like as you know what I didn't even know the reason like why I am sick and why I am suffering through a mental sickness, you know? Like I was asking my mom, 
Amma, you are supporting me, but why? Why am I here today? Why am I suffering? Like it is years ago, you know, Jim, like uh, when I was 15, and it was it was a long ago. But then, uh, like I was asking to my mom, mom, why can't I be like other girls? They are enjoying their life. They are vibing. The age of my girls are like going out. Uh, enjoying their life, being who, who they are, and many more mulajim. And the thing was, and when I like think to myself, the reason to be in depression or anxiety is like uh, getting attached to someone in the religion. For me, like I know I shouldn't be telling like this, but then I have many more to live, even though like what I feel is, um, getting at this memory one reason Ajim and like I I like being friends with everyone Ajim even even though tell me even though they tell me bad things or negative comments like or backstepping like many more Ajim and but I like being with them I like talking with them and that was the issue I guess Ajim like I feel that that is the issue getting at this uh, feeling close to someone, being friend with everyone, and yeah, that was the issue. I think I kind of got the gist of your issue. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's to do with uh, attachment. It's yes. one. Uh, you could also be having what it's called people pleasing tendencies. Yes. No, you like to please people you want everybody around you to be happy and you know you want everybody around you to like you and be nice and you want to be nice to them you want everybody to be nice to you honey and then you have expectations remember they're very normal it's very normal and in this when you're like a teenager i think this is very normal and this is also i feel one of the reasons another one the next one is a relationship boyfriend girlfriend because yes, yes. when you when you're this age, you meet a guy, you fall in love, that becomes your first love, first true love. Because of all the my friends tell me that the first love that you fall in love with a guy, that is a God gifted. And I was like, Okay, tell me the story whom you have met or how did you meet him or her? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So Mo, I'll tell you. You uh, at this age, you will uh, meet a lot of people, okay? But you must always remember this one thing. Nobody told me that when I was a teenager. Nobody honestly had the time to tell me that, okay? Because I was like that also. I used to like, you know, be the life of the party. Like I want to make everyone happy and I want everyone to like me. You know what? I don't care now whether they like me or not. You know yes, what? Because I like myself genuinely 100 percent i i love myself you start with loving yourself you know all these whether people oh that guy is cheating on me or that's all these will not matter till you have that till you have that you know uh unconditional love and belief in yourself i'm telling you you will never have any relationship that's authentic in this day and age in the world of internet you know you will have people you hang out with your friends you know nothing against my friends i love my friends but you know you will be hanging out uh, with your friends the internet you will remember your age this is the generation of the internet no social media you're taking a nice picture you have a nice picture of yourself you post it okay on your instagram all the strangers will like your inst that page, but your friends. That is one red flag. Not important, but that's one red flag. What I feel is like I'm I'm not like more uh, active with social media platforms. You know, Ajim. Like you might know that because I don't be online in Instagram and like I just be online some sometimes for or for some while. But then uh, I be active in Facebook many most of the time, and I like scrolling it, and like I've got many friends there. I mean, like strangers, not online friends. I mean, like online friends, and like what I feel is 
strangers are better than known ones lah. Because uh, we feel unexpected more like they said like they suddenly text us or oh, hi how are you doing and like even my friends didn't ask me like how are you doing and a stranger came asking me how are you doing like okay I'm doing good to you and we became friends there and like when we get I feel what, what I feel is it's okay to get uh, like comfortable with someone you know Jim uh, because we will be able to ex what we feel and confess our thinking and many more and I, what I feel is uh, there isn't any issue even if we can't express or confess our feeling because when there's a lot going through our mind uh, it's very tough, tough to speak out what we feel inside even though it's really hard to keep inside mm -hmm. but then like we just think I just think that like we just need a people who can understand us and like who can talk with us like you you know Ajim like when we talk with you you make us like vibe you know like vibe and feel very happy like happy and like oh my god that's not the end we have to like see Ajim Bema is doing and I have to do see like she's telling us to be strong she is motivating us and like she is consoling us to do this further and when someone is trying for you why why can't you like i feel like why can't i and like i'm here today and speaking with you more like Jim. and what i don't know what is written in my like fortune but then i feel really blessed as like really, really thank you thank you like you are such a brave young woman i mean young girl a woman you're such a brave young girl to be, uh, you know, uh, having this courage to talk to people and uh, tell everyone about how your, your struggles and all that. You know, that, that's, that in itself is a win. You've won. Okay. Well, now let me just tell you one thing, okay? Okay, you admire someone. Yeah, okay. Like, like right now you are saying that you admire me and all that no like i'll tell you i am nowhere perfect i am fully flawed mental health i will have moments where i'll just shut down you know because i'm also like <laughs> i'm also working working on myself i have not reached where i want to reach i'm also like you know so i'm also like uh messed up i would say you know, but somebody who knows that I'm messed up and I'm working on it, not that I'm not uh, like, you know, totally unaware of it. The fact that you're aware of your issues and your problems is half the battle won. So you must keep up with this. But you do you read books and all. Yes, as in like, I like reading books, you know, as in either adventures, horror, love story, or like many more. I like reading it because when we are uh, when we are with a book we don't need a friend you know Jim. book itself is a friend and i consider like a novel or a re reading book in my hand as my best friend so i don't need friends because like you know what Jim? i forgot to share you something like during my illness like my mental sickness i lost a lot of friends you know Jim. i lost a lot of friends oh my god like i was sick and i wasn't able to talk openly with them like i'm suffering like this i can't be with you i can't talk like i i couldn't tell them honestly and openly so uh, when we are like this i created a lot of distance with them and like i made it so far and some of us are like still not connected and like we don't even know each other now because we have grown a lot we have changed and like my accounts are changed their accounts are changed and we don't meet them yeah. so uh, one of the like saddest part of my illness is like i lost the most loving best friend of mine you know as in like uh best friend we are, when you say a best friend okay she or he will support you he or she will be with you till the end we think like that you know as in, and but then at that moment when I like uh, look back, when I look back, I created a lot of distance. We went too far, and like yeah, we're still not friends. I just... Oh, 
Okay, uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to hear that. It it means a lot. I know. I know. Like I can understand. It means a lot, and especially when you're young, friends mean the world to you. No. Uh, it's too like you no know, like the chilunga advice him there. Asi si tap madhi ka kaya asi si kadhi be chinnna. So now I'm I'm putting you in my niece. You know my niece is like fourteen, fifteen years old. So I'm I'm like seeing my niece in you, and I'm advising you. Okay. So in life, no, there is nothing that'll stay till the end. That's something you must know. Okay, nothing, no one, nobody, not even yourself. The only okay, yeah, yourself. You yourself will be there till the end of your life, no. But nobody else. Car up in permanence, no. So so ani chi di ani maba ani how ko chi tu ba when we get into like relationship, whether it be friendships or whatever relationships, and even if in the future you have, you know, boyfriends and all that. They don't stick around, you know. Why? Because yeah. that's the law of nature. They born, die, all that, no. So any expectations, the expectation they bring you will be mush. That will save you a lot of heart, uh, save you from a lot of heartbreaks. Yeah, like ma'am, what you know, like keeping it real saves so much energy of ours, ma'am. Like, uh, okay, we go far. Uh, you can either talk with a stranger, make friend. Talk, but don't get attached. That is the like lesson what I have learned. Don't don't get too attached, too detached. Also, you know, don't be detached. Yeah. Also, but don't get too attached. Also, the only the middle way they go, middle path. Na chigi Lord Buddha Yusuf no zumbe. Follow the middle path. Okay, yes. you are like you know, uh, your life has not even begun right now. Yes, many of the. Yeah, People like, started. yeah. Yes, Jim. Like even my own mother tells me that okay, baby, she calls me baby. So, baby, your life hasn't started at all. You don't know what life is. And when you reach at the life, when you like, when you start the life, that is the moment where you have to be sick. I must say that. Like my mother told me that you know, uh, because. Even though, like, uh, I am suffering through mental sickness, my mother was like more stressed out than me, lah, because like she was the only one like uh, who could understand me and how I was feeling inside and suffering more, lah, Jim. Because mother are the only one and momsy are the best one. So, yeah, Jim. She told me that okay, you have to be strong. You have to like complete your studies. You have your career. You have uh, us parents like us to look after, and you have your like friends who will support you at school. Don't be low and many more. As in, like you know what I would say is like our Buddhist society is a family. As in, like they never leave a single people if they are suffering more. As in, like. As someone known or someone like unknown stranger, if we like, if they see us crying, they will definitely come and ask like, "Okay, are you fine? Well, how are you doing? Like, what happened? Do you need help?" Like any one of the people ask here at our Bhutan University. So yeah, I feel really blessed even like to be born as a Buddhist. So yeah, 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 exactly. That's very true. That's very true. You know, ngayi ta silab do zumbe. Like your life hasn't even started silab dalu. You right now where you are, no? Like how you are, like kind of. You know, I can see that you're wanting to work on yourself. Hanzun ime ba demo. No, but nobody is perfect, huh? Nobody is perfect. Now, if you're expecting yourself to be perfect, that'll never happen. You know, we are all have. We all have our own little flaws, and that's okay. Stop yes. judging yourself. No, don't judge yourself. If somebody comes, let them come. If somebody leaves, let them leave. You know, don't let that affect your self worth, self love. You know, self belief. Keep having that. And uh, one thing I'll tell you: start. Do you meditate and all? 
Yes, like when I started meditating, when like my mental illness started, when like my counselor suggested me to do meditation, almost for a five minutes or like listen to some motive talks, and I've le- like I've listened to a lot of motive talks, you know, as in through Messenger, like uh, through Facebook videos, through YouTube, through TikTok, and many more. So yes, as in, I do med- meditate, like mm-hmm. listening. To- Continue with the meditation and to, if you have a phone, no? Phone, yes. uh Try try doing this, uh, downloading this app called The Tapping Solution. The Tapping Solution. They have a tapping on a rainbow. Like, these are all energy points. The way they he describes also, everything is there. That is so good. I make my oldest son do that sometimes. Tapping, long tapping. You just have to follow the instructions. Try it. Download Betubka. Right after we keep you, you try it, the tapping solution. Okay, so you try that out. You try, let your mom try it. Let your dad try it. Let your brother try it. Everybody try it out. But yes. so worth it. It's so worth it. Kachi na mashi, kachi ki magic na mashi. But after five minutes, after eight minutes, after nine minutes, you feel different. Okay, so you try that out. You continue with your meditations. Uh, and if you do that, you know, if you do that, I feel uh, one thing is, uh, I can't promise you that your life will, you'll never have low phases in your life. You know, I can't promise you that your life will be like forever happy, laughing, smiling, dancing. Yes. It, you know, but if you do your inner work, you do your meditation, you start with meditation and all that, you do, you'll be able to handle situations better. And whatever comes your way, the way you respond to the situation will be different. Yes, legends. And like, what I even feel is like, uh, just not to everyone, but to some of the people, smaller. Like, when me tell that it's not just me, like, it, right now I'm here, uh, I'm suffering through a mental sickness. I'm recovering, and it will not just be not just me, Mona. It will not just be me. So, like, this will even happen to other people, other girls like me. They won't be able to like talk. And throughout my experience, like, we if we are suffering through a mental sickness, Mona, we could never go to someone and ask for our help. I think that is the biggest issue I have ever faced. Imagine like we always like cry, uh, be feared of something and like just think and think and think. We stressed out a lot as you know and I just want to say that uh, mental sickness and a physical sickness like a fever it is the same thing in Belajim, like because, uh, but the different thing is for a fever, we can get a PCM and we can like recover soon. And for a mental illness, we don't have any medicine, and, like we just have to do by ourselves in Mola. And we need a person whom we can talk to, whom we can like uh, wipe <laughs> and like um, to do something. And like, yes, I just want to say that. In Zohadram, people tell us that like we are suffering through mental sickness. They they always like what I have heard during my sickness. The negative comment is like one negative comment, like um same combination we tell like Zohanal Bajan, same combination memo like like Momoragi same the Morazuma Sukmeze. Like one negative comment, like I feel like okay. Uh, I can hold my own mind in my relation, like same zoom at the of the day, and like okay, I'm okay with it, and like I didn't give any like any attention to that word, and I was like on my way because my counselor told me that don't focus on what other people is telling, what pe- other people are doing. You just go on yourself, work on yourself, and be who you are. Be truthful to yourself and show what you are, and like okay. I didn't give any attention to them. Like it was like uh, my friend itself, I guess. So yeah, I didn't give any attention. And like it's very, you know what I mean. Like it's very good sometimes to get the like I don't get, I, I don't care personality to ourselves. And yeah. like it really helps us when we say that okay, I don't care. 
She hates you. Like she hates you. He hates you. He's talking this about you. He's telling bad about you. Like okay, I don't care. Let them tell because like uh, people, we people are born to tell. You know, Ajin. And this world itself is a uh, what now, Ajin? What like stage? Uh, like we all are like the world is a stage, and we are all actors. Yeah, Shakespeare. Yes, <laughs> All are like actors and like it is true you know and this quotation is true that because is like yeah. like because like our parents are our director our friends are our sound box yeah. and like like i'm like i'm connecting to a background like, music <laughs> Yes, yes. like sometimes our parents itself becomes a singer you know as we don't have to like uh, get a singer like I need a singer in my life movie or something. This is a realistic life and movie Jomevalajan. Like what I felt is like we all are an uh, actor and we all are a uh, being like, our own part. Acting, acting with Malaysian. Like we never know what we are doing. We sometimes like you know what I said. Like my Buddhist uh, motivator, uh, like. Um, like she told she like uh, whenever she goes to a stage or whenever she receives an award she always like she never give the credit to herself you know she always give the credit to others like i'm thankful for this day i'm thankful for my like i got a husband i'm thankful for her him amen she is my motivator because keeping a credit to myself sometimes feel worthless in a legend so it is very like it is sometimes important to give credit to like our parents also yeah, yeah. exactly exactly definitely yes 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 that's very true huh? such a young girl and very wise like when maturity hits you it's different you know as in like now i'm mature enough like it's all about experiences me more life no lugachi experience be ani accordingly ana be jumba pati mo yes like and when uh, during my sickness a uh, long time ago like what i thought was when a 15 years old girl tell that she's suffering through anxiety no one could believe her you know as you know who will believe her because she have got her friends loving parents and supporting parents and many more and who could believe like she's suffering who will even believe you know as you know? so yeah, yeah sorry it's okay like um yes I it was a tough thing i but i'm so glad that you know you you are uh, you've kind of overcome it you're in the process more in the process of getting better continue continue what you're doing have the same mindset uh that time i asked you about books is like uh try reading some self-help books self-help uh non-fictional books you know and yeah it will really help you it'll really help you there's so many books out there the power of the mind the secret Anism books this so you start reading them one by one take your time but start reading them it'll make it'll make uh, your life so much easier to god yes i would like i would definitely like go to my school library and find those like libraries if you don't have it if the library doesn't have it let me know i'll send it to you <laughs> like oh thanks she School di malam mo gatili na siya malap but but you, you tell me personally and I will uh, send it by post or by bus if you need it tuba I'll send you some books and um, I wish you all the very best study hard your life hasn't even started again I'm stressing on this your life hasn't even started you know you have your whole life and just as william shakespeare said no the world is a stage and we are all actors there is another point another uh, point of uh, view you know yes the world is a stage you know that means you your world you are in your world and you are the main actor you are the re main actor in your story Okay, so before even thinking of making your parents or your siblings or anybody proud, you make yourself proud. Okay, 
And if you're proud of yourself and if you keep doing what you're doing, your parents, your family will definitely be proud of you. Yes, Lajan. Um, making proud and all like it's a normal part of our life, more Lajan. Like, but making ourselves proud and being satisfied within ourselves is really hard, you know, Lajan. Like, what I feel is like, I know I shouldn't be telling this, but then like, what I feel is, uh, sometimes we have to like get uh distance knowledge we have to create a distance from the people just to love yourself in your religion and what i feel is like people's sometimes people's are the most scariest person scariest thing you will ever come through mevala because like if they are good to you okay you'll be good to them if they are bad to you if they are like talking bad okay you'll be bad to them and as me ask the legend so sometimes past present future is the funniest thing because like if you have a worst past and like when when you're moving on and someone suddenly come and like talks about your past and there that is like uh that become the reason why you get sick too like, what i feel is like and then you just have to tell that it's okay i'm not that one but it is still hunts inside you know as in like you if you have a worst it still hunts yourself and what i feel is like it is very peaceful you know as in when no one like one of the greatest uh peop uh one of the greatest person told that like when it is peaceful when no one knows about you when no one knows where you are when no one knows what you are doing and like when no one knows a whole thing about you in evaluation so yes la i feel that sometimes creating distance being like yourself private is private, the most private yeah most like uh, like most important thing uh, because we can get time for ourselves we can learn our uh, like we can study ourselves even stay uh, like sitting in front of the mirror we can like uh, okay who are you? What you are doing? Like we, we can talk with ourselves. Yes, yes, that makes you so any legend so much same to me and the yante to zoom the legend like even like that like when we talk to ourselves, like we start we have a, like we can get time for ourselves and he like Mirror ki don't do that. Like I, I like I'm very thankful to the mirror inventor in Nigeria because like <laughs> he or she made like he or she made us to see ourselves in Mevala to like know how we are like how our nose are like and how our ears are how our like face are like and yes Asian and he or she would be definitely in heaven because like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like yeah, many yeah. of the people will be really happy yeah. of that mirror. As soon as I get up in the morning, no, when I'm brushing my teeth, when I'm brushing my teeth, I look at the mirror straight into my eyes and I tell myself that I love you. I love you. You yes. should try it out. Try it out. You look into your into your eyes in the mirror and say I love you. Just yes, just morning and we try better such it but you do it continuously for seven days eight days doesn't matter but you will see how things change these are all the small 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 things that i do uh, you know what I like when i was in the room once my mother caught me talking to myself yeah. in front of the mirror and just like she just came and baby what are you doing like whom are you talking to and she thought like i was sick and i was like going through some like trauma in the like I don't have me to do so she thought like that she was scared and worried a mother used to do like this you know she, all every mother will do this and she was like baby whom are you talking to like holding my hands tightly and whom what are you doing and like no I'm talking like I was like no mom I'm talking to myself don't worry I'm fine and I know what you are feeling because she thought that I was talking to a someone invisible and yeah, she thought yeah. that what which she can see i can see and some chino no 
เยสเซชั่นไอ้ยายายเอ่อบัตยูซอลักกี้อ่ะรอพัมปินชานัมเซมิจิงจีดูยูโนยูเวอรี่ลักกี้ไอโฮปยูโนดัตยูโนดัต
it's okay because she has been good to me. Uh, so Nam Zangmo, she's still supporting me, you know. She, even though she he, like she hears something bad about me, she tells me she go against them and tell no, she's not like that. She's now like like this. She's doing that. She's like like that i'm really thankful for her sometimes i told her i told you you know like sometimes strangers are the best ones yeah, yeah. i made her a stranger now friend like she's still supporting i so nice so nice yeah there are some really nice people out there yes really you nice. can tell people by its face you imagine like appearance mojarim do lagji tab mojarim mojarim do lagji okay she will be a good girl allah baji rosim samato be umme me rola lu dimu like yes i should why why i like we met i met a lot of friends you imagine fake people real ones to keep in to like make distance and many more but then what i feel is the most loving person you know will come out as a devil in evolution like yeah i was like totally messed up at like yeah, my yeah. friend one of my friends yeah exactly yeah 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 people are the person you least expect will be totally different yeah yeah like you know you know what like i wish everybody on this world are like you asian chuny zuxel then and like Yes, Ajim. Everybody must be like you, Ajim. I am like so, being so much. <laughs> oh my God! Okay. You know, Ajim. Yeah. Thank you. Like we would like, we would love my girl, Ajim, and like, Naji, like we can be comfortable in the Ajim. The thing is, that all like we met today. And I've been so like comfortable with you. I can speak what I feel, yeah. and. I can be real, you know, Ajim. Let's get real, and I can be real with you. So yes, Ajim. Sometimes being dramatic is really hard, you know, Ajim. Like, even if you're not okay, you have to be okay. Even if you're sad, you have to be happy. Put on a smile, and like, yes, Ajim. I wonder how how our like film industry, you know, Ajim, like Ajjo and Ajim, Madam and Sir, are like acting, you know, Ajim. Like, I found I feel that. They are really like working so hard to catch up this like uh, acting no Yeah, yeah, so, exactly, exactly. In our normal life, we like we are like as messed out to be like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Acting. Yeah, me but then ani di rokhungi kariya ima bate so ma palera rangi gira you know it'll just it'll just come out. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, what you're saying is right. Absolutely right. Correct. Yeah, I'm so glad that you can open up. Are you feeling light? Because you know, the other day, I'm so light feel with it. You know what? I just like I never felt this like comfortable to talk, go and talk. Like even my counselor, I didn't talk openly. I know, yeah, he joined here. Uh, oh, I asked him to join. So oh, like my counselor joined here, and like I, he he knows that I didn't even like talk like this to him. You know, I just like I was. Okay, okay, I will do that. Uh, okay, I'm good. I'm feeling good. I'm not cry. I'm not going to be sick. I was like that. I should, um, a I'll, word like I'll, I'll tell you one thing. One advice before I forget. You no, know? don't ever hold back your tears. Okay, that's one advice. If you have to cry, you cry it out. Don't hold it back, because if you keep holding, 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 one day you'll erupt. That's the worst advice. You have to cry, you cry. You have a friend near you, you have to cry, just cry. That's the best thing also, another best thing to do. <laughs> yes, Ajin. You know, I, like, I cry, Ajin. To yeah. really be honest, I cry a lot, Ajin. I cry. Me too, I, know, I cry a lot. Yes, as my pillow will know how much I cry during the night. As like, uh, it always like be wet when, like, when I wake up in the morning, I cry. But I, don't I be there, huh? like, just because I'm telling you to cry, like, there is certain emotion that you're feeling and you have to cry. You cry it out, but after you finish, you come out of that emotion. Don't be in that emotion. Continue crying for days and days and days. Ahani di mabe. 
but you know because you're releasing no you need to release that emotion and then you need to feel your natural self no after that but if you are stuck in that emotion and crying day in day out bewachi bente then it's time to talk to your counselor yes i should. like and what i felt is like sometimes you have to go out just to like just to tell what you are feeling and sometimes it's not also good to go out and talk because they might think that you're being dramatic oh my god she's creating a scene or something in Mavada. so sometimes no people to talk to don't have to tell everyone about your emotion half the people don't even care to be honest because yes. they're fighting their own battles you know yes they have their own issues to face so they don't have the time to sit and listen and all that you know what you must whenever you feel heavy you have one or two people you can absolutely trust your mom go to her you open openly speak talk you'll feel better you know, you know what i did was like i felt no one good yeah like people are okay I don't want to get edit. So I brought a diary book for myself. You know, yeah. I brought a diary book and a pen. And I, what I thought was the pages are the good friends and the good listener in my village. They can keep in themselves. They will never share to other. So yes, I, should, I like my diary book. And I have named her, like I have named her Junior Dog. Oh, so nice. <laughs> so nice. Yeah. Because I tell like I sometimes I tell people that I have a sister and mm -hmm. but she is a non human being. Yeah. She is a non living thing. And like they wonder where the sister like is she an alien? Some like one of my classmates, uh his nickname is Scientist and he told me that is she an alien? I told that. No, she isn't. <laughs> like he was like he was working on so hard to find out who my sister was, who my little sister was, yeah. and like I don't want to stress him out. So like I was openly like, ah, scientist, uh, that is my diary book. I named her Junior Dolker, and she's my little sister. Like yeah, I, yeah, yeah. It's so good that you are into this habit of journaling also. You write down your emotions and all that. Oh, journal, You don't even have to share it with others. You know, yeah. beside your your it is counselor and your mom i feel yeah and recently like i've met a friend not recently we have been meeting through years and like i thought like i think uh, i thought that i must like write something about uh, my friend in the diary book so yes i really wrote it down you know uh s uh, my friend's name start with S, Sange, and Sange and ends with W. So I was like, okay, cutting the papers S and W and writing his picture by myself, hand drawing picture and like, okay, my friend. I know someday or sometime, my friend was gonna change. Yeah. Uh, he or sh he will leave and like you will leave and it's okay but then you're like creating memories right now because since small you know as in like since small i've got one friend from the like uh nursery class itself one friend uh her name is sona Momo, and we're still friends and she used to still call me late night and like ask talker what are you doing right now how are you feeling i i told her yes i i remember telling her that i am suffering through this and i want this i like i want this means like i need to be i need to take rest or something i told her that and then and and then she started calling me every day you know Ajim, uh, until i told her that i'm good now like yeah, I, she, yes. she called me she called me and she just Doctor, are you feeling good? Are you doing good? Or how are your surrounding? What are you doing right now? Are you standing or sitting? Like she used I to make know. like <laughs> questions, you know, as in to talk with me because I was creating distance and I've been so far. And yeah, as in, some friends are good. And what I see in her is like 
my mother figure because she have got my mother's personality you know Ajim, and their eyes are quite similar also so what i see her is like my mother's personality and yes Ajim, i like I, being with her you so have nice. a connection with her in memo yes, yes. so nice so nice it was so lovely hearing your story yes Ajim, and like i'm very like lucky to share my story to someone who understand me you know Ajim, and someone who is okay I, I am comfortable I understand you you know it's uh i'm 100 percent sure that even the viewers uh may have you know kind of connected with you you know your story and the now i'll be posting this in my youtube and i'm sure there are some kids who watch you'll be you know your story will be inspiring Yes, Ajim. Like, I, I'm, you know what, Ajim? I'm like, it's not my patient to, like, it wasn't my patient to, like, come and talk. But then what I felt was talking to someone like you, Ajim, you, just like you, is like, will make me feel better. And I will, like, get something that I can get recovery soon, you know, Ajim. I'm still on process. I don't want to go back i don't want to stick those memories because i kept it back i don't want to look look behind so yes I should. and uh i came here talking and talking to you and you know uh, as told i am i'm not really active on social medias i don't have my own like tic, uh this account right now i'm the account you is my mother's and like I'm thankful because her life could like her camera and could open here and like yes Ajim, like I'm really thankful to you Ajim, for having me today and like let me share like sharing my problems she was stories and like, many more Ajim. thank you thank you thank you so much Dolker it's such a uh, you know honor hearing from a young girl like yourself very brave uh you know um uh, who's already gone through quite a bit oh. but like i said again let me just tell you one thing your life hasn't even started you know you visualize when you're meditating visualize a peaceful life a happy life for yourself yes. you know more than don't always be in a rush to you know uh you know achieve a goal or you know I want to be this and I am going to get there. Okay, yes, you need that. You, you want to be a judge or a teacher. Of course, you have to work hard, you know. But make your inner peace your priority first. And then you go follow your dreams. Yes, I should, like, and I'm very thankful. Like, I've learned a lot from you today. It, uh, it's a short moment. Like, I have learned a lot and I I've kept something in my mind, you know, as in like uh, your advices are wordless, as in like I'm like priceless. Uh, I can't even like get it from anyone, and it's like, very, very precious, as in. And I'll keep it in myself. I'll try. I'll try what I'm like going to do now. And yes, as in, I'm really like lucky today. I feel Hi. very happy. Thank you. Thank you so much. I wish you all the best study hard focus in your studies don't care about what others are doing others are wearing others are eating let them do whatever they do focus on yourself on your own well-being and uh and i wish you all the best yes uh thank you so much Ajim. thank you like it really means a lot you know this is a really big you know Ajim. for me this is a huge thing a huge thing and yeah it really like really means a lot i thank you thank you thank you so much my